Alexander Polinsky is alleging child abuse and sexual harassment at the hands of Charles and Charge star Scott Bayo. He's the second of Bayo's co-stars on the hit 80s sitcom to make sexual misconduct claims. Polinsky spoke about his allegations against Bayo for the first time on Wednesday during a press conference with Hollywood attorney Lisa Bloom. The pair were joined by Nicole Eggert, Polinsky's Charles and Charge co-star, who has accused Bayo of sexually abusing her as a minor and who was now on hand to support Polinsky's claims. I was sexually harassed by Scott Bayo and ultimately assaulted by him between the ages of 12 and 15 years old. Polinsky traced the alleged abuse from Bayo back to the child actor's first year working on the show when, at age 11, he says he walked in on Bayo acting sexual in nature with 14-year-old Eggert, who was sitting on the adult star's lap. Polinsky said of the TV show's megastar, I was so naive I innocently hopped on his lap expecting to hear a story about Fonzie or Happy Days. He added, Scott Bayo was a hero to me. Instead of telling us a story, Scott immediately threw me off him and began angrily calling me faggot, while Nicole laughed. I felt confused confusion, shame, and then fear when I realized I had judged the situation wrong. Polinsky went on to detail a pattern of abuse that was unrelenting during his time on the show, which aired in syndication for four years. He now believes the harassment from Bayo was mental torture in retaliation to what he had witnessed between Bayo and Eggert. According to Polinsky, Bayo would describe gay sex acts to him that Bayo said the young actor would grow up to perform and share his sexual conquests with young girls and the co-stars of the show. He alleges that homophobic slurs became a running gag on set. He said, Scott pulled down my pants in front of a hundred people. Another time he laughed as he cut a hole in the canvas wall of my private dressing room on set and exposed his genitals to me. And one time when the pair were backstage and Polinsky faked throwing a basketball to Bayo, Polinsky says this happened. He got startled, and in anger, he assaulted me by throwing a burning hot cup of tea in my face. Bayo later apologized, but the alleged abuse continued, behavior that Polinsky called sexual-themed hazing. When reading her statement, Eggert said she felt guilty for not standing up for Polinsky at the time, but that she was enduring her own alleged abuse from Bayo, and was also a child. Polinsky said adults on set were aware of what was happening, but he believes they were silent for fear of losing their jobs. After voicing his support for former co-star Eggert when she and Bayo first went public with their sides of the story last month, Polinsky filed a report with the LAPD sexual assault unit on February 6th, both to corroborate Eggert's claims against Bayo and detail his own. On Wednesday, Eggert and Bloom said that at least 10 on-set witnesses spoke to police about Eggert's claims, including Polinsky and one person who witnessed Bayo allegedly dragging Eggert around the set by her hair. While Eggert and Polinsky are asking for a public apology from Bayo, Bloom said any criminal consequences are now under the LAPD's jurisdiction. As for Bayo, he has denied Eggert's claims. He previously said Eggert and Polinsky had decided to team up against him. Bayo was set to hold his own press conference with his lawyer in response later on Wednesday. His spokesperson told TMZ on Tuesday, Nicole Eggert, Alexander Polinsky, and their attorney have brought a media circus to town, complete with false allegations, misleading insinuations, and pure sleazemongering. For the latest updates on this story, go to th.com. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.